So Jay showed it to us at World Cup. Now it's in store. This is the V-Force Grill 2.0. Hi, I'm Dylan. Welcome back to PP Sports. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new features and changes that have come with the new Grill 2.0. Uh, we're out here in front of the mask wall so we can look at some of the changes compared to the old grill. Uh, first though, let's open the box up. We'll take a look at what comes with the uh, mask here and then we'll go on to some of the features and we'll point that out to you uh, as we move along. So first, let's open this guy up. So as you can see, it comes off. It's very similar packaging to the old grill uh, with a couple of changes. First thing you're going to see is your brand new Grill 2.0 mask. So we'll pull that guy out here. And then tucked behind it is going to be this little package full of goodies. So we'll move the box out of the way here. Get that out of the way. So you just open this guy up. It'll be inside this little baggie. We'll go through this package first, and then we'll get to the main course of the mask here. So first we see the uh, new Pro Visor. It's an updated visor that is supposed to be easier to put onto the Grill 2.0 and easier to take off. And from what I'm seeing here, that actually looks pretty true it's just a three hole system and we'll look more at that once we get to the mask but it's just these three pegs here they go into the top of the mask and it should cover you from rain and all that other stuff so move that over here so also inside the bag here we have the v-force mask bag this is for covering up your mask so that your lenses don't get scratched when it's in the bag or when you're not playing so we'll have that as well and then we also have the operator's manual inside as well just care and other instructions for you there so yeah, that's everything that comes in the bag. I'm just gonna put that back together here so we can move it out of the way. All right, so onto the main course. The first thing you're gonna notice off the bat on the mask is the new ears. These are the new FlexSoft ears. They're actually very similar to like an eFlex ear, which in my opinion is a really nice change. The other big thing that you're gonna notice is the new redesigned venting up here in the front. It's actually, in my opinion, a little bit more aggressive, looks a little bit more futuristic, which I like compared to the older ones. They also give you a much better sound quality when speaking or when calling out to uh, people on the field. The older masks have an issue of giving you a little bit of reverb or echo so that you're hearing yourself a little bit more than you'd like. The other big change you'll notice is, is that the front of the mask is actually very bendable. Uh, that's supposed to give you a lot more bounces. They say it's just, it's an increase to your bounce factor, um, but it's, it is really nice. A lot of more modern masks, you're starting to see that more on where it can take a hit and bounce the shot. So another big change that they've made to the mask is, is a lot of the stuff on here is actually quick change now. Your strap is quick change and they even have this really new uh, and interesting quick change foam system so that if your foam is wet from like sweat or rain or anything like that, you can just switch it out real quick and easy. So to remove the foam on the Grill 2.0, you just flip it around here. So on the inside, you're going to pull off your foam kit like this. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, but it should come out all in one piece, just like that. So to get this top half off, you just unclip these two tops here. Once you get those two tabs out, you're going to kind of pull a little bit with it. So it's going to come. It's kind of difficult to get a hold of, but once you get it, it comes right out like that. You get your next one, and then the last one right here, and the whole thing will come out like that. All you gotta do is you take the center one, you line it up, it snaps in, and you just gotta follow the holes, and then hook your end pieces in for the top, like that. And then on the bottom, you basically just line up all of your holes, and hook your sides in. And what's nice is it kinda snaps into place. You don't gotta worry about anything crazy, like that. And your foam is back in there, nice and snug, not going anywhere. So next we're going to show you how to remove the lens. Uh, all you got to do is there are these two tabs where the uh, strap meets the mask. It's right there and right there on either side, respectively. Uh, all you got to do is just push the two tabs in and then wiggle that boy out. Sometimes it catches, you just got to pull it out, make sure it's away from the little bar that it was under. Same thing on the other side. You don't have to worry about losing the strap or anything like that. The mask actually has a little tether for them so they're not going to go anywhere it's sometimes they're a little difficult to get out of there there we go so now they're both out you see they're nice and loose here nice and free right there oh. nice and free right there you can see all you gotta do is you come to the side here where these little tabs you just lift them up and pull them out like that same on the other side up and out like that and then there are these tabs. There's one right here, and there's one right here. It's kind of hard with the new lens. There it goes. There's one. Do the same thing on the other side. 
There's two, and you push it from the back, and there's the lens. This lens is out. And to put it back in, all you gotta do is you just slide those two tabs back inside. I'd normally do one side first, and then I clip in the other. I push them in, make a nice little click, right? Then you gotta take your tabs, so go to this side first. And we gotta hook it. So you gotta hook it underneath the little lens tab there. And you push it in, that's actually the wrong side. So you slide it underneath, you push it in, it'll lock into place like that. Flip it over, go to the other side. Same thing, underneath. You slide it forward and it goes right in. If you're having issues with this not going in correctly, as you can see on the other one, we had a little bit of issue if it does not want to go in all the way. That just means you're on the wrong side. So then we come back to the inside of the mask and we basically just reattach our strap. Just hook that back in, not going anywhere. Same thing on the other side. We just hook that guy in, just give it a little push and it's back in. So the V-Force Grill 2.0 goes for $114.95 on our website. There's actually a link down in the description below, which will take you directly to our website, pbsports.com, where you can pick up your very own today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or send us an email. Our email is sales at pbsports.com, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching, everybody.